Cheshire may have a reputation as one of the most green and leafy parts of England, but it is also an area of major contrasts. That makes delivering a modern and effective fire and rescue service a particular challenge. Major progress has been made by the service in recent years in improving the safety of residents and businesses, with the numbers of fires, deaths and injuries all down. But continuing to protect local communities as we face massive cuts in public spending will require some radical changes. We have developed a draft four-year strategy to provide a clear and consistent sense of direction and outline how we will approach the challenges ahead. Over the past five years, major improvements have included our home safety assessments, which give householders vital safety advice and provide free smoke alarms. We did 4,000 in 2005, but over 62,000 in 2010, while groundbreaking agreements with key partners are helping us to identify those most at risk. The service now has a range of products and programmes to educate and involve young people and to help them enjoy safer lives. Three years ago, the service didn't have any volunteers. Now we have over 450, helping in areas ranging from safety advice through to a post-fire support team. Our fire stations too have been fully modernised, with dormitories and recreation rooms making way for fully IT equipped meeting rooms for use by community groups and for staff training. Community safety advocate roles have been created, while Cheshire now operates four shift systems from the traditional whole time arrangement through to the on-call system. We have pioneered new, smaller and more flexible MIDI fire engines, while other additions to the fleet include specially equipped Range Rovers for dealing with road traffic collisions, a co-responder vehicle for staff who respond to local medical emergencies and new water rescue boats. Training facilities have seen a major investment by the fire authority, resulting in a state-of-the-art incident command training suite and conference facilities at the Winsford headquarters and a new breathing apparatus training premises at Macclesfield. The changes in the key figures over the last five years speak for themselves, with massive improvements across all areas. Responding to the major cuts in public spending is the most significant challenge facing the service over the next four years, yet it still has to assess and tackle the changing risks facing the community it serves. These include climate change, an increasingly elderly population, and working alongside Cheshire's major chemical sites to ensure the safety of their systems. Making the savings and still providing a flexible fire and rescue service will require major changes. In the future, we will need to be more flexible and respond more quickly to risks and opportunities. It is inevitable that this will result in some job losses. However, our objective is to work with staff and trade unions to avoid compulsory redundancies. Our community fire protection staff work closely with businesses to ensure that they are aware of their fire safety responsibilities. The service has recently restructured the department so that we have the required roles and skills. We believe there is scope for similar efficiencies in the future and we will also support a more joined up business inspection programme. In the future we will be doing fewer home safety assessments, but those that we do will be targeted at the most vulnerable. As a result, we will need fewer general advocates, but we intend to create some new roles which will also work on behalf of our key partners who would share the costs. Action by the service and partners has seen a drop in road deaths and serious injuries, but more needs to be done. We believe our strong reputation and brand mean that we are ideally placed to carry out work on behalf of partners to take a lead on reducing the numbers killed and seriously injured on Cheshire's roads in the future. While the locations of the service's 24 community fire stations still allow us to achieve our own Cheshire response standards, there will be a fundamental review of all sites. We believe it will be possible to fund some new stations which are better placed to tackle local risks by selling off some larger existing sites. These would be more environmentally friendly, cheaper to run and provide a chance to share costs with partners. Sophisticated analysis and profiling work means we can predict with increasing accuracy when and where emergencies are likely to occur. As a result, 
the authority believes there is now greater scope to vary the numbers of staff and fire engines according to risk and activity levels, while leaving response standards unaffected. In particular, we intend to look at proposals which involve using purpose-built staff accommodation within station grounds. This maintains 24-7 emergency cover for local communities, but needs fewer staff who receive extra pay to compensate them for the greater commitment needed. The service believes that there is now scope to combine the previous separate management arrangements for Halton and Warrington into one, making savings, providing greater flexibility and matching Cheshire Police's model. There will also be a detailed value for money review of every aspect of the organisation over the next three years. We believe there is scope to make efficiencies in some support services through options such as joining up with other partners and sharing the costs. We also have expertise in some areas to deliver services on behalf of others, particularly in the new virtual reality training facilities. The next four years will be tough and demanding, but we are confident that the approach and principles we propose put us in a good position to deliver a modern and flexible fire and rescue service, able to deliver our vision of a Cheshire where there are no deaths, injuries or damage from fire or other emergencies.